Okay guys, welcome back to Terminator Resistance. Right. How do we get back in there? Right. Let's see what we got in here then. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful, or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. <laughs> How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. About that camp. What do you want to know? What work did you do there? Most of the time, I moved bodies for disposal. Sometimes their skin would be peeled off. Oh, it was horrific. Why would machines ever do that? My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the annihilation line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her. But deep down, we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Oh, that's a bit of a abrupt end into a conversation. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Okay. Right, so we can buy. Um. Might not do for the minute. Okay. okay, now sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Max Wolfie, I don't know. <laughs> Terminate two references there, guys. How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. 
I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again. Don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. My, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. <laughs> I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. It lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge of the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. <laughs> How ironic. Right, okay. Oh, skill point. Let's go for stealth. First things first, I'll bridge this map. Don't sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. All right, so we look around here.
jeez. Oh, Looks like a silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise. So, before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. You won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh... I feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Right. Okay, sound decoys. Right, so my guess it is, it's Terminator sound here now. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? That's a silverfish. More of them.
shit, what is that noise? Okay, so we've got two locked doors down here. Where is it? We've got to go. Oh shit. device acquires you can now hack skynet turrets and terminals and turrets this is it okay no game save there
shit, shit. Oh no, we're down now. Don't hear that. Get me, mate. Got a bit of luck. Skill point, guys. Hmm. Well, we've got a hacking device, so I'm going to put one on hacking. Yes. 
Control those turrets with the hacking device. Right, here we go, guys. We're gonna hack this. Right side of the screen while we're avoiding firewalls. Okay, let's go there. Okay for that, guys. Alright, now I can't see a way of getting to the other side of that. See, mate, nothing to see. Okay, can't go that way. Thank you. 
Here we go. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Alright, okay guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.